All right, so this is the granddaddy review of the entire series that I shared with you at FX Street this um, this month. And um, it'll just take a few minutes and we're just gonna recap every single thing that we talked about. Are you ready? I'm ready, here we go. So let's review the MACD, it's moving average convergence divergence. MACD's job is to watch for a change in the current market condition. Information we get from the MACD includes a hopper, which is good timing for a new trade. Histogram bars show momentum when it's building from the zero level. Reverse trigger finger shows you timing with momentum for a counter trend move. An overall direction in the market is noted based on MACD's position above or below the zero level. Take note when that changes. Here is an example. We had a hopper and it started a new move. The MACD made a move over zero. That is a hopper, it hopped down for a sell signal and it started out a nice long brand new move in the market. We had histogram bars. Every time we have histogram bars building from zero, they are pushing forth a wave of momentum in the market um, and the MACD line, no matter where it is below zero, even if it's pointing up, even if it's moving up all the way really close to zero, as long as it's holding its position below zero, overall call on market direction is down. So that MACD line below zero held us in that downward direction uh, for the duration of this downtrend. So let's review. The MACD line anywhere above zero demonstrates an up market. It doesn't matter if it's pointing down or if it's dropping down. Anywhere above zero demonstrates an up market. MACD line anywhere below zero demonstrates a down market. The MACD close is when the MACD line gets back to zero. Remember, whatever was previously happening in the market, it's over. <laughs> okay, sometimes it's a stop loss and sometimes it's a profit target. But it has a lot of meaning when the MACD um, gets back to zero and it's telling you that whatever was previously happening, that is done and now it's time to do something new. Here are some examples of that. As long as the MACD holds above zero, direction is up. So this is another really great example where the MACD line came all the way back down to zero, but it held its position above zero. Even when price action got very spiky and very choppy, and if you were holding a long position in this instance, you know, it's reasonable to think we would have stopped out there. But it is also very um, noteworthy to see that the MACD didn't, it didn't cross that line. It held that, um, that up position as long as the bulls were in control of this market. So that is a demonstration of anywhere above zero, direction is up. So let's review. When the market move changes, for example, the market changes its course, has a reversal, does something new, starts something, the MACD is the first to get the message to you. Conversely, when price is when price action is just choppy, right? Price action is just choppy. It looks like it's really starting to move, but it's actually just choppy. The MACD is generally unfazed by that. So it's very, very steadying in the market when the MACD holds its position, even when price doesn't. So you get definitive information to differentiate between the two. Is the market making a new move or is the market just getting choppy right now and I should hold steady? Um, one of my favorite things about the MACD, and here is a demonstration of that. In this instance where we had a hopper going up, it was a signal to buy. I call this the inside range pattern when price is in between the two moving averages and I like to buy it <laughs> from the bottom to the top or sell it from the top to the bottom. Well, in this instance, I had a MACD hopper telling me it was a good time to buy. But as soon as as soon as you go long in this, in this setup, we have a price bar that spiked all the way down below those moving averages and would have really made me um, uncomfortable and really made me uh, question whether or not I should just take my loss or if I should stay on this trade. But when you look at the MACD, it never turned back for a second. It stayed really steady with those histogram bars pushing it um, in the upward direction as it, and then the MACD um, eventually took the lead over those histogram bars. And, and there was never a question in my mind at that point in time that the MACD was holding me steady in that buy trade even when price got jumpy. So now I learned to just expect that type of thing to happen and it's extremely valuable to me to keep my head on straight when I start getting nervous because I see the market getting really jumpy. If the MACD is holding its position, so am I. All right, so let's continue our review. Measuring the average distance of a single price bar of how far it can go in the current market conditions 
on the current time frame chart gives you an idea of how far price can go without really meaning anything. This can be very useful when trying to plan a stop loss so that you know how far the market can move without really meaning anything. And also, it's very helpful for figuring out where you can take profit because you want to take what comes easy. And how far it, this the measured profit target is going to tell you how far the market should be able to easily go. Remember, we're measuring the average distance of a single price bar from high to low, just the average, not the biggest bar on the chart, not the smallest bar on the chart, but you know what's an average distance this market can travel? And in, in it gives us in current market conditions, in the current time frame, it gives you some ideas about how much wiggle room your trade's gonna need for a stop loss, and also where should your profit target be so that you're sure to get you know that low hanging fruit and get yourself out of the exposure to risk um, and capture your profit quickly. All right, so let's review. A Monday trade is a hopper. It's a special hopper because it happens on a long time frame chart at the beginning of the week. If the MACD hops over zero on a Monday or a Tuesday on a long time frame chart, chances are good the market will hold its position long enough for us to capture 100 pips. It doesn't happen every week, but when it does, we love it. So let's review the button program. It's for MetaTrader 4. The button program is built for the MetaTrader 4 platform, and there are 11 MACD-based buttons, interactive buttons, that sit right on your charts, any of which you can and place on your charts for fast, convenient tools that will automate everyday trading tasks with a single click. And here are a few that, things that it can do for you. It can open a new hopper trade for you. <clears throat> that means that you can turn that button on and it will sit there and wait for the hopper to happen or not to happen, and you don't have to sit there and wait. It can close a trend trade with mathematical timing, so you can go to bed. Maybe a position in profit and the trend is going in your favor and you don't really want to close it too soon. You can let the button take over and keep an eye on it. And if the MACD crosses zero, it will close that trend trade for you at the right time. Closing an existing trade better than a stop loss when the MACD moves against you. So in this instance where the MACD holds you steady when price is getting choppy, but then there's other times when the MACD just rolls right back over zero and you know it's over. You know it's time to close your trade. No discussion, no questions. It's just really um, makes it a lot easier and that can happen automatically for you with the use of the button program. Opening a counter trend trade with the benefit of MACD signaling momentum, not just sort of fading um, the move, but actual momentum for the counter trend direction with the reverse trigger finger. Opening a combo hopper trade and adding the expectation of momentum for price action. You can click to calculate that measured stop loss or that measured profit target and get that number. And then you can either automatically apply those orders or just use the number in some other way. Maybe it was just information you wanted. It does the math for you. You can um, set a stop loss and or a profit target to any number that you want with a single click. You can change it 20 times if you want to. If you're like me, you might do that. You can stop and reverse to close a losing, uh, close on the losing direction and immediately reduce the loss. It's fast, it's super convenient, and you no longer sit there and watch the market race against you. You do something about it with a click. You can draw and label pivot points and also remove them with a single click and more. So that is a review of everything that we talked about in this series. So if you're tuning in to this, um, this session for the first time or if you're watching the recorded video for the first time, please look for the other six lessons because I put them all together in a specific way so that I could build out some ideas about how you can benefit from the messages that you get from the MACD, which is a free, freely available indicator that sits right on the bottom of your charts. The button program is currently on sale. You can find it at my website if you're interested at simplycombo.com forward slash button dash fall dash sale. If you have questions, um, I'm happy to email you. You can find me at combotraders at gmail.com and my website is simplycombo.com.